Today, let's watch some obnoxious Karens get what they finally deserve, police edition. Ah, oh, so this time, the Karens will get immediate karma because the police officers can arrest them once they get out of line. Exactly. We don't want to waste any more of your time, amazing viewers. So make sure to grab something to eat, have a seat, and enjoy the video. Pull, pull that up. Pull that up, honey. Yeah. Want me to spit on you again? Oh. You need a mask, ma'am. Want me to spit on you ugly? Oh. Swear to you, if what you do ugly, that again, I'm going to ugly. I'll get a good attorney. God bless you. Yep. God bless me. God, because I'm a Christian. I, Christians don't talk like you. I'm not a racist. I have friends that are Muslim. Okay? I have friends that are Muslim. Uh, oh, that hurts. You're hurting my hands. Well, they're handcuffs. They're not for comfort. God bless you. Yeah, God bless them. Because yeah. if it was up to me, you'd be going to jail. Come on, officer, please. But That's they decided, as the victim, that you were not going to jail. Oh. I suggest you watch your mouth. You don't just wake up one morning and decide to be racist and prejudiced against a particular group of people for no reason. I felt something tingle in my brain every time she called them ugly and criticized their clothes. I can't imagine having that sort of character where you disregard any other culture or way of life but your own, as if yours is royalty and automatically greater. She really said that they aren't humans, as if being Muslim makes them vile aliens or creatures from another planet. Ain't no way that after all that, she was the one calling the police. Just look at that entitlement. I get what the cop was trying to do when he told her to go back to Ukraine. He was trying to give her a taste of her own medicine. But that's just not the way to go, man. You shouldn't try to fight fire with fire because then everyone gets burned. Damn, Liam, you really just spit right there. I never thought you had it in you. Yeah, it shows from time to time. These extreme Karens are really making me look like a prudent philosopher. Ha 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 ha. The officer escorting her was right. Christians do not talk like her. I really don't like how she tried to use the religion as an excuse for her behavior. They all know that she's lying about having Muslim friends. It's plainly ironic. They were really some great people. They didn't press charges on her and allowed her to go off free, and now she thanks them. Hopefully, she'll remember this in the future, that those actions have consequences. Things could have gone way worse for her. Like, seriously, he's hey, giving me a ticket for stunting it. because he heard me yelling at someone on my phone, and then I fingered him on the way out of okay. there and told him to mind his business, and he's pulling me over for stunting again. I feel like driving away and starting a high-speed chase. This is over-policing. Yes, sir, sir, sir. Just let me put you on hold for one second. No. Okay. This guy. There, I'm on the phone with you, oh. boss, you oh. Try and bully me, you piece of Five sixty-seven dollars Are you serious? I'm waiting for your boss to call me. Get in your car. You're a f little. B Give me my ticket and go f yourself. Go f you. F off you. B You're a f clown. Again, here we f go. Are you serious? So what are you doing? He didn't do anything. <laughs> Send more people, please. There's another officer here, but he just told me to shut up. Please help. They're beating him up. Please don't hang up. I'm scared. Excuse me, can you please explain what's going to happen here? Like He's under arrest and he's going to be held for a bail hearing. So he'll be under arrest until he speaks to a judge and then he'll be released. You can't drive your vehicle into a police officer. He didn't. He, he was did. pulling I was standing away. right here and he pulled into the side. He sideswiped me. It's I the same as any other motor vehicle collision, I except for it. that it was with a person. He did it intentionally. He, can I please take this vehicle home? Like, yeah. I, 
You can't drive with the window like that, so you might want to pull the rest of it out. I'm not helping you. Hold up, pause, bro. Did he just say he fingered the officer and told him to mind his business? Ha 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 ha. But all jokes aside, this man gotta slow down. Take it down a couple notches. This ain't GTA where you can easily get out of a high-speed chase with two or three stars just by hiding or something. He must really think it is GTA. He intentionally tried to run over the cop with a vehicle, for goodness sake. I hope he ain't think he was getting away with that. It was hilarious when the cop said that he's not helping her pull the rest of the bro broken window out. You already know a crazy scuffle went down. Don't help him, don't help him, don't help him. No, don't, he's a police officer, don't help him. No, don't, don't. So this is the sort of behavior that humans are expressing nowadays. They made fun of bro for being stuck and won't help him just because he's a police officer, which is crazy. It only gets worse when you see that the main Kevin recording tried to convince the bystander from helping the officer. Respect to him for having decent morals and helping him out. They were so surprised that he helped him despite his profession. They gotta be the type to think all cops are terrible people just by the way some media portrays them. No, I just got off work. Ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm gonna ask you very nicely to step out of the vehicle, please. Okay, I'm going to break your window and drag you out of the car. I'm legally allowed to do that, ma'am. what? I'm asking you to step out of the, no, the car. Okay, let me get your driver's license proof of insurance. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. I'm scared. I need your driver's license proof of insurance, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm going to break your window and I'm going to pull you out of the vehicle and I don't want to do that. And then you'll be under arrest and you will go to county jail. You are under arrest for obstruction of justice. Open the door. Roll the window down. This is not your traffic stop. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to break your window. You're under arrest, ma'am. Why the hell did the clip cut short before they took her out the car and brought her to justice? I don't know, man. But what I like most about the Karens getting what they finally deserved police edition is that they're immediately held accountable for their actions. So we're never left wondering if they ever got what they deserved or not. Um, are you blind, Jack? The clip literally just ended on a cliffhanger. She could have finally complied and either handed over the license and proof of insurance or exited her vehicle. Lose common sense, idiot. At the end, she was still screaming about how she didn't do anything thing and that her house is just a few streets down. Besides, we probably wouldn't be able to show that part on YouTube anyway. I'm watching you drive all the way up the street with your head buried in the phone. All the way up the street. No, it was not. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull you over. I have it on my camera. I have everything. And I mean, and don't tell me you're on on directions. No, I'm not on directions. I'm a damn neighborhood. You really have nothing else better to do. You're gonna you're gonna get pulled over. You're gonna pull over into the BP lot. Pull up next to the uh, behind that. Yes, ma'am. Nothing else to do in your damn day, do you? I don't want to be by you, ma'am. Pull, pull over into the pull over into the BP lot. Call me a douchebag. I have asked you to stay in your seat. Can you please close? Is this, excuse me, is this part of the law, a part of getting pulled over? I'll is tell it, you what. Is it? I'm just asking because you're being pretty forceful about it, and I would like to know the truth. Is that a law? There's your driver's license, man. Can you answer that man. for me, Officer what you're being What you're being cited for is Are texting while driving today, ma'am. Are you not going to answer my question? I'm going to give you a copy of the law today. You're not going to answer understand. my question about the law. What is your question again? Is this illegal to have my door open? It depends on my, my feeling of a safety. And you've been very aggressive for absolutely no well, reason. Come on, bro. You, you have a small. I'm voice not your bro. Okay? Well, I don't care. I'm gonna call you what I want. Your small child is dependent on you, Aww, and their life is in her. danger. Their their life is in danger because of what you're doing. You're endangering all our lives well, today, and that's why you're, you're being cited. Well, you're making assumption that I was texting when I'm yeah. using voice. Well, ma'am, you, you can do. go to court on the. Oh, you Again. Yes, Nine o'clock in the morning, yeah. and Are I would love to there? play this for the judge. This would be absolutely outstanding. This would be entertaining for the judge. Oh, okay. Sure. Your second option, you can actually pay for it in person downtown. Oh. <coughs> Butterfingers, <coughs> making us all unsafe on the road. 
I'll tell you what. You know what? Are you going to stop the traffic? I'm going to go ahead and give you a copy of the law today. I don't even need you to sign this. I'll go ahead and say no, 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 don't do that on my car, please. Excuse me. That's my property. Do not do this on my property. Unwilling. Damn, so she had a child in her back seat while looking down from the road to text and drive. How irresponsible, man. And yes, that recording will be entertaining for the judge. She'll be hella embarrassed with everyone witnessing her behavior when she believes they're alone. I doubt most of these people know that officers have a body cam that's actively recording them. It's as if she's a full-grown woman with a child, but also a teenager who has no regard for the safety of others as long as she gets what she wants. Her looks and behavior definitely remind me of the Mean Girls movie. Sheesh, man. A rush wave of funny memories just washed over me thinking about when we watched that movie. Shit was hilarious. Ha 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 ha. Shit would have been better if Liam's fat ass didn't eat up all the snacks. I was waiting all day to get out of school and for all of us to meet up at my house and watch movies and snack all night. A bag of high chews would have been amazing. But nah. Liam caught me lacking when I went to the bathroom and scarfed all of them down before I got back. How is that even possible? Well, you snooze, you lose, you goofy goo. Uber. I was also waiting all day and skipped every meal at school for when we met up. Ha ha ha. Y'all are crazy as hell. Glad I had my secret stash of Cheetos locked up so y'all couldn't gobble them down. And then my mom has my actual insurance card. This is a temporary one. I think she's on her way here. Okay. Did you drive here? I drove here. How much have you had to drink tonight? Not much. I was at home and then my son called me, so. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do since you drove here, we're going to do some tests to make sure you're all right to be driving. I'm fine. I'm a justice of the peace. I'm an elected official. Please. Well, either call what was I supposed to do? Step on that line and face me. And face you? Yeah, face and me. face you? Yeah, face me. No, face, face my direction. Oh, okay. Face it. Like I said, he no, can... I'm an elected official. He and called I, me. And he I... He called me because he was in an emergency situation. I didn't ask it's you to more, have your mom be on the line. It's not her fault. It's not my fault. I'm here for wanna, my son. Do you want to test? Yes, you're you're right being a jerk. No, I'm going to talk to Judge Wood. I refuse. Put your hands on your back. I'm you sorry. are a bad person. You are a bad person. Listen to me. A good person would have let me go home with my dad or my brother because I went to my son's wreck. Act your age. Okay, you're a grown woman. A suspension on your driver's license. This situation is actually a controversial one. On one hand, she definitely shouldn't be driving under the influence of too much alcohol and such. But on the other hand, she was trying to rush to the aid of her son and make sure he's okay. Yeah, this one is tricky and I can't really take any position on this because there are great arguments to support both sides. She might have been able to ask some other family member to go check on him or a very close friend. True. One thing I can say is that she does need to act like the grown woman she is. I know it's very emotional for her right now. Her son just got into a wreck and now she's in trouble. But maybe it's harder for her to contain herself being under the influence like that. Yo, look at this stupid who has been bumping in my own neighborhood. I hope you lose your job. You need to get out of my way. Now. Now. Get out of my way. I just, I'm, so I was assaulted by a man here a few months ago. And so I'm like really on edge. And then she started banging on my window screaming, telling me she was going to hurt me. And I just didn't know what to I didn't know what to do. She's but she doesn't live here. I didn't want to let her in. She does live here. Okay, I didn't know. I'm like, I was concerned for my safety. Yeah, I don't why I was like literally I was assaulted by a man. I was just thought she was gonna hurt. Oh my goodness, bro. I always catch myself cringing hard as hell when I witness something like this. The secondhand embarrassment is loud as hell. What was up with the quality of the first clip? Were they recording with a Nintendo 3DS? Ha ha ha. LOL. I don't think the woman in the first clip should have reacted the way she did, because they almost can say that it was assault, but I understand where it's coming from. That's one of the most annoying things to happen, someone blocking the driveway with their car. She really tried to bring out the crocodile tears and garner as many sympathy points as possible. It's definitely not cool that a man assaulted her, if that's even true. But it still doesn't mean that all of a sudden she's entitled to everything in her surroundings. I can just see it. Now, someone's going to catch her stealing from a store, and she's going to say that a man assaulted her to justify it. LOL. It looks like Karen's and Kevin's have gotten and worse and aren't showing any signs of letting up or improving in the near future. They're getting crazier, more obnoxious, and more entitled by the day. Yeah, man. It's getting wild out here in these streets. Hey, amazing viewers, if you 
enjoyed this video or even if one of the Karens triggered you, please scroll down and like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps a lot. And so you don't have to go back to find another video to watch. The previous Karens video just popped up on the screen. And I believe these Karens are crazier there. One Karen even used large wire cutters to shut down a lift. We can't wait to see you there. So say what's up to us when you do. Peace.